what if you were a manifestation master and you could work less to make more money? I don't know anyone who doesn't want this. Not that we maybe don't want to ever work because we love what we're doing, but if it could flow more easily and we could attract through our energy and our vibrational alignment instead of working hard, feeling stressed, getting stuck in burnout, I think that we would all say yes to that. So that's what we're gonna talk about today on Max Potential Habits episode number 115. I'm gonna give you manifestation tips to help you build your business faster. If this is your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes, the founder of NFA Coaching and the host of this podcast. This is your place to come each and every week to hear tips, tools, and inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in your life and business. High fives. <laughs> uh, if you're listening, you've been a long time loyal listener, I would love it so much if you would just take a couple minutes to leave a review. I know many times when I'm listening to podcasts, I'm in my car or I'm on a run and I forget to leave a review. And I do now because I know how much it helps podcast hosts who put all their time, energy, money into creating awesome episodes for me to learn. That's what we do here at Max Potential Habits Podcast. And it, when you leave a review, it triggers iTunes to reach more people. And then people also have that social proof that what you're hearing here is actually useful for you. So take five minutes. Even if you don't have an iPhone, you can Google it. Uh, just type in iTunes review and it, it'll take you less than five minutes. And I would so, so, so appreciate it. Also, take a screenshot, email it to MPH, stands for Max Potential Habits, raffle at nfacoaching.com and screenshot your review and you will be entered into the raffle where I pull monthly different prizes. This month it's gonna be a $25 Amazon gift card. So you can buy books, you can buy whatever you want on Amazon with that gift card. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Okay. I'm super excited about this topic because as you all know, my big thing has been focusing on mindset, money, manifestation, and marketing. And the reason is because these are the foundational focuses that have helped me to get where I have gotten in my business. A lot of the coaches that I talk to say, holy moly, you've gotten to where I am 10 years into my business. Some people say you're even ahead of me and I'm 10 years into my business. And it isn't that I have this, it's not that I'm a unique outlier, it's that I have focused really hard on the things that matter. So when you focus on the things that matter, you start to get aligned more quickly. And in that, it's that core of mindset and manifestation. In 2020, I decided I wanna be a mindset and manifestation master. I wanna learn the art and science of manifestation. And so as I'm learning that, I'm teaching people and I'm seeing the coolest things happen in my business. And I've had so many people ask me, what are you doing? So I wanted to share these tips with you today. And in that, I wanna relate this to habits. Your life is a product of your habits. Your mindset is a habit. The amount of money you have in the bank is a habit. The way that you manifest in the world is a habit. Your law of attraction capabilities, habit. Your marketing, habit. So remember, what we do really matters, but what we do in our habit world is based on what we believe. So if we're thinking about law of attraction, and, and this is part of manifestation, right? We need to be aligned vibrationally. We need to have our system set up for success by believing what we say we want. So if you've been listening to me for a while, you know that I talk about this as competing commitments. When you're out of alignment and you're incongruent, it's because you say you want something, but you're not taking action on it. That's because you have competing commitments where your unconscious driver system, which is 95% of you, is not aligned with your conscious driver system. So this could show up like you saying, oh, I so badly want to build my business to six figures, but then you find yourself every day hesitating, distracted, procrastinating, scared to, to promote your business, so you're, you have a fear of sales, and that's rooted in your belief system and your blueprints that are telling you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't get there fast enough. Maybe you're comparing yourself negatively to the people around you thinking like, well, they're so much smarter than me, and I'm an imposter, I'm a fraud, I don't know what I'm doing. Those are misaligned beliefs. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to break through to the six, seven, eight, nine figure mark if you have that belief system. So you'll see people who are powerful manifestors 
It's because they first believe that it's possible and they know what they want. So if we think about the law of deliberate creation, and that's really the law of creation because the word deliberate is an interesting one where if you will get what you focus on, that's the law of attraction. So the law of attraction, if we think about whatever you focus on, you attract more of. So likes attract likes. And most people think like, well, law of attraction doesn't really work for me, it's BS. If you don't believe it, it doesn't matter, it exists. It's like gravity, right? But the thing is that most people are focusing on what they don't want or the lack of what they don't have. And so they think the law of attraction doesn't work, but you're getting what you're focusing on. So remember, what you focus on expands. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So in the law of attraction, if you're focusing on, let's say you have a whole bunch of debt and you're focusing on the debt instead of making more money, your, your being and your vibrational frequency and your conscious and subconscious belief system is focusing on the debt. So you're gonna create more debt instead of more money. And so this shows up all the time and people say, well, a lot of attraction doesn't work. I'm not good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do it. I don't believe it. And I go, okay, well, let's dig into some of your belief systems. And then we see really quickly that they're actually focusing on the thing that they can't have or don't believe they can have. So this could show up, let's say in, in business, another thing where you go, oh, I so badly want to write a book. I want to be a New York Times bestseller. I want to write a book where people, I can build my expert platform. But then you have this underlying belief that you're a shitty writer, that you don't know how to articulate words and that you don't know how to create a storyline. And instead of focusing on, okay, how can I do that? How can I, you know, there's great courses um, I that I can refer you to. If you want to write a book, I have a 90-day course that a colleague of mine has. It's awesome. So ask me. There are a million resources out there to help you develop the habits to write daily to be a published author. I know lots of people who are, have, um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> Can't think about it. When they, dyslexia. So have dyslexia and have written books. You can speak a book into your phone and have it transcribed and then have a ghostwriter and you can write a book. There are ways, but if you have the belief system that you're not good enough, that's gonna cause subconscious obstacles. You're gonna be focusing on how you can't do it. You're never gonna write the book. And so that would mean that you're, what you're attracting your way is proof that you're not good enough, proof that you don't have the words, proof that you don't have the resources, proof that even if you wrote the book, no one will read it. So you've gotta start aligning your energy.